Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, today's video is going to be your oracle reading for the month of September. I'm going to pull three oracle cards and then I'll clarify with a couple of tarot cards. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this kind of video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, Pisces, what oracle messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September? What oracle messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of September? You guys got nature, you are understood, wow, and divine timing, beautiful Pisces, beautiful. We're going to talk about those more in depth in just a moment. Let me pull um, a couple of clarifying tarot cards real quick. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of September? Please clarify these oracle cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September. Please clarify these oracle cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of September. Wow, star card, three of cups in reverse, and I'll put that one over there, the full card in reverse. Okay, Pisces. Wow, wow. Let's start off with the nature card paired with the star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, but here with the nature card, I'm seeing that you guys, um, there's a lot of power, a lot of drive in what you're doing right now. Um, I really want to talk about the divine timing card, but we'll we'll get to that. This has to do with your divine timing. I feel um, I feel like you guys are really truly coming into your true spiritual self. Like this is very deep and spiritual, um, and this paired with oh, there we go. Um, this paired with the star card is absolutely beautiful. Um, look at both of these cards. They have a lot of sky in them, stars, lightning, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of downloads from your spirit angels, or I'm sorry, spirit guides and um, your angels, that sort of thing. And this is absolutely beautiful. Um, for some of you, you might need to get a little bit more in touch with nature. Um, maybe go on a nature walk or get in the water, go swimming, that sort of thing. There's a lot of water here in the um, star card. Um, I'm also seeing that when you look up at the look up at the sky, make sure you're connecting with Mother Nature. Make sure you're connecting and being thankful for all the blessings that you have because. This month has been very abundant and very, like, strikingly awesome for you guys, um, in my opinion. So, this is beautiful energy. Um, and then moving on with the You Are Understood Oracle card with the Three of Cups. Um, I'm feeling that you could feel a little bit left out of maybe the circle of people that you're around right now. And you feel a little bit misunderstood. But your angels and spirit guides want you to know that they see you, they support you, and you're extremely, extremely special. Don't feel about, don't feel too, you know, sad or too left out in the cold. Um, if you're like not invited to something or if you're feeling left out of a social circle or something like that, um, you know, you still have a very um, tight group of people that care about you, family, friends, and that sort of thing. Um, but also from above, again, on a very deep spiritual level, um, your angels love you and support you, and 
they've been with you, you know, your guardian angel's been with you your entire life. Don't forget that. Don't forget that you've, um, you know, you've paired up with another soul and that person has helped you through your entire life. And no matter what, your guardian angel always understands you no matter what the circumstances are. Um, there's nothing too serious going on with this card. Um, I don't really feel like a third party situation. I just feel like you're um, you might not be feeling like in the group or there might be like a click at work that you maybe kind of want to hang out with or something like that. And um, it's, I don't think that they're really ignoring you. I just don't think that, um, you know, I just don't think that they know that you want to hang out with them. So maybe say something, um, show them how cool and creative you are. <laughs> Pisces, you guys are extremely special. You're super tapped in and connected. So um, just listen to your intuition and I feel like, you know, sometime in the next couple of days or weeks, you're going to find a really, a nice, uh, perfect time to talk to these people and tell them, Hey, like I want to hang out or to give them a text or something like that. Suggest like a movie or something y'all could go do together. Um, or something that's very easy and lighthearted, something like that. All right. And you guys got the divine timing card, um, paired with the full card in reverse. So I do feel like, again, right now in September, you guys are really coming into like what your true meaning of life is, like why you've really been placed in this body on this earth at this exact time to live this specific life. You guys are really have been wondering about that. Excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze again. <laughs> um, you guys have really been wondering about that and it's all coming to you. It's just taking maybe a little bit longer than you thought, which is why the full card is in, is in reverse. You're ready. You're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to say, you know what? This is what I'm supposed to do. Some of you also might be fellow healers um, or readers, or maybe you do energy work or Reiki or massage or something to where you help people. You guys are um, very open hearted and just want to help people. I see a lot of um, cancer, uh, sorry, cancers. Um, maybe you're dealing with a cancer, <laughs> um, but Pisces, maybe you, um, I was gonna say counselor, not cancer. Um, some of you guys might be thinking about doing uh, like some kind of counselor work. Um, I myself, I, you know, I'm a Pisces, so I feel you guys. <laughs> I've also thought about doing some kind of counseling work in the past, and that still comes up for me a lot um, because I love to be there for people. I love to listen. And, um, and hear other people's story. And I feel like that would be a really good, um, or something similar would be a really good career field for you guys as well. Um, there's just, I have so many ideas for you guys and you guys are like almost at the jumping off point. Like you like write your ideas down. They, again, you guys are very tapped in your spirit guides connect with you Pisces. So, so, so much in your dreams. Um, make sure before you go to bed, you're connecting with spirit and, you know, of course, thanking them for your blessings and all that good stuff. But also, if you want to know more about your path and what you were meant, to, uh, what you were put here to be meant to do, make sure you ask spirit for that. Say, hey, you know, um, say something like, please help me from when I first wake up, help me remember my dreams and write them down. I've been really working on that and I've actually kind of figured a couple of things out in my own personal life. And the last couple of weeks, it's been really awesome. So anyways, um, I feel like that would be a really good suggestion for you guys um, because you're, you're right there. You're like on the jumping off point with the full card. Like you're almost there. You're almost ready. I just feel like you have a little bit more meditating and praying and a little bit more thinking, um, thinking it through to do to make sure this is on the right track for you. Um, Again, getting connected with nature will also really help you come to that conclusion. Um, yeah, and don't try to, um, or don't feel so left out. Um, don't feel so left out in the cold if, you know, you're around people that you feel like they, you know, like you might feel like, oh, they don't want to hang out with me or they might be intimidating or like kind of that kind of vibe. Um, but don't worry about that, Pisces, because... No matter what, whether you hang out with them or not, you are like, you love your own company and you know how to have a good time on your own. Not saying that you guys are like 
lo- uh, loners. <laughs> I, I personally cherish my alone time. That's when I get really connected and um, when I recharge. And I know that's really, really important for Pisces to do. So, all right, you guys, I hope you like this kind of video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. Sending you guys all my love. I love y'all so, so, so much, my Pisces. I'll see you in the next video.